Hey everyone, you're watching the baddest man on the planet, Transaaron38. And you know what that means? That means that this channel is for adults only. So if you're under the age of 18, go somewhere else. Yo, what is up fellas? I'm your host, Transaaron38, coming for some more G.I. Joe Classified Action. Today we're taking a look at the new G.I. Joe Classified Series Mole Rat. And there it is in all of his glory. Definitely really cool figure. Definitely uh, looks really good. And uh, got this early from Toy Arena. Uh, Walmart, I do have a couple pre-ordered on uh, Walmart, but Walmart ca canceled my order the first time, and then they, they didn't do it the next time. But it's just weird with uh, ordering stuff, pre-ordering on websites. But anyway, here is the Mole Rat in all of its glory. Definitely really cool. Number 94 in the G.I. Joe Classified series. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get him out of his cardboard plastic prison with a little bit of plastic ties. Uh, I'm sure it has plastic ties on it, just like all the other ones from the this newer wave of stuff. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get him out. Let's get him out and get him out. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Roll that music intro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Mole Rat out of his packaging. Definitely looking really pretty good. Uh, definitely anticipated figure uh, to get grab here because definitely he gets that infection on his uh, face. There's like like the crystals or something it's just just messing them up, turning them into undead zombie if you if you wish. Um, I don't I'm not not familiar with the mole rat, but uh, the mole rat looks really really good. But uh, definitely kind of reminds you of that dark energon, like like really, really messing up his body because he's exposure to dark energon. Um, it's just because of the, the crystal's pink, pinkish purple, so it kind of gives you that dark energon kind of kind of vibe going on, which is pretty badass. But even if you want to, you can actually get this little uh, little chunk of energon from uh, your red Cheetor. I think it was. So you can give that give that to him if you want to, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you want to, it's a different color, purple, but hey, it is what it is. But anyway, take a quick look at the packaging here. It's like uh, this does not come with it. Just to let you guys know, this comes with the Transformers Red Cheetor, uh, Red Red Series Cheetor. So anyway, take a look at the packaging here. You get the mole rat here with his uh, his mask and breather on, with his gun and his Geiger, Geiger counter. I do believe that's what it's called. Um, Nice artwork here with that pur pinkish purplish uh, color, which is pretty badass. He's number 94 in the series. Uh, definitely, really, he's a tall dude. Uh, he's basically using the gun ho, the gun ho uh, roadblock legs, uh, which is pretty cool. Ooh, shit. Excuse me. Ooh, tired. Working that third shift, I tell you. Try to get some reviews in for you guys. So yeah, this is what all he comes with. He comes with uh, two attachments for, for his gun to become a drill or a regular laser pistol. Then he comes with his backpack. He comes with his uh, sample, uh, the the uh, the whatever uh, the the crystal sample uh, container he holds, or like a lantern kind of thing. And then Geiger counter. Then obviously a head sculpt. Uh, he does come with the head sculpt already applied, I guess already. He does not come with a uh, uh, the head, uh, this face mask on, so you gotta put it, uh, it comes in the pa packaging. On the side of the box here, go ahead and scan it. Go ahead and scan it, guys. There's a scan for you. Go for it. See what it does for you. So, yeah. Anyway, moving right along, here is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Mole Rat. He's really cool. I highly recommend him right off the bat, just, just because. Just because. Uh, he does come with his uh, little lantern, lantern uh, core sample thing right here. It's supposed to be glowing, but it's like I thought it was like a trans tra translucent piece, but it's just a uh, molded piece in there. It doesn't look like it's translucent. Uh, but hey, you get that? It does swivel uh, on that that hinge right here for the handle. So whatever you want to do with it, you just sit it right there on on the on the turner 
for right now. Uh, obviously, this does not come with it. It just keeps the figure from falling off the turner. Obviously, he has those uh, big, bulky legs just like uh, Gun-Ho and uh, Roblox. Man, I'm getting tired. Um, speech is slurring, guys. Speech is learn. <laughs> you got those nice double-hinged elbows going on here with him. Uh, ah, there we go. Nice range of motion there on the elbows, which is pretty good. Uh, really nice and stiff, too. You got the Cobra logo right there on his arm. Definitely. Just look at the head sculpt. That is fan-freaking-tastic. Hasbro's really doing a good job with their head sculpts with uh, G.I. Joe here lately. Uh, some of the G.I. Joes is all right. Falcon. Ugh. I did not. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Falcon, I just never cared too much for Falcon's face that they came up with it, his face, but uh, there he is. There's his head sculpt. Uh, obviously, you can pop it off. Um, he does come with his other head sculpt with his rebreather mask on, his hazmat mask. Uh, so, there he is. The mask as well. And you do get all these other pieces as well. Here's this one piece here. You're supposed to clip it on. This end here is supposed to clip right on his chest, like so. Rotate it up, and you just uh, basically peg it into his mouth. Now that hinders the articulation with this figure, which is a big, big uh, pain in the ass. But all in all, it's it's worth it. It's worth it for the figure it, it itself. Is move this paper off to the side from opening the figure. Um, uh, I must have dropped his damn backpack. Backpack, backpack. <laughs> yeah, dropped his backpack. It was on the floor. He does come with his backpack as well. And the same little peg hole right here. Peg it in. And then, uh, when it's rebreather right here, this piece here gets pegged in to the side of his mask. Now, you don't have to put this in there, but there we go. But now he's safe from being contaminated from that mineral or whatever he's mining. Because I'm not sure what lore that is from behind. Um, I'm going with it's Dark Energon for me. Uh, since I'm a Transformers fan as well. So. Anyway. There he is. You get this nice backpack right here as well. And uh, storage wise you can actually keep the decor sample back here. Hanging just freely just hanging out just hanging out man it's just hanging out so anyway there he is in all his glory obviously you do get that extra head sculpt as well like I said you do get his Geiger, Geiger counter as well you do get, get that you do get his uh, drill attachment piece and his laser gun attachment pieces these pieces here is universal for his gun here so so he's drilling out the core samples so he got to have this attachment for drilling drilling the samples out of the ground drilling uh, gotta get that off there here we go and then obviously there's his gun now obviously you can still put the blast effects in there from figures now if he's not drilling anything you can actually uh, peg this you can peg this to this there's a side piece back here you're uh, supposed to be able to peg this in to the back like so but it doesn't really work with the drill piece but you can do it with the laser pistol piece it's up to you it's totally up to you as well so you can actually just shove it in there. Try to shove it in there as much as you can if you want. Uh, you can just set it off to the side. But the laser pistol piece uh, actually fits in there much better. Um, let's just post it in. I'm calling myself a liar for saying it posted in. It does. But you gotta be patient with it. But it does 
peg in there um, it's up to you it wiggles loose it, it, it comes off very easily very very easily so yeah so there he is the mole rat definitely really cool figure definitely give him his gun drill thing his uh, laser gun as well so and where's his gag counter so yeah now he's ready to uh, see what's going on underground fellas really cool really cool indeed that's how it's comparison might as well bring in some uh, older figures for size comparison as I hear he is with the Cobra Viper uh, for size comparison obviously he's on a stand but you can see what just get the gist of what I'm talking about with the size comparisons with him Maybe I can get the mole rat to sit there still without without the stand there we go for size comparison let's head off the side so yeah so not much I'm not going to get all kinds of figures for size comparison but there he is in all of his glory or the Cobra Viper without his arm guards, which I like without it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Mole Rat, really cool figure. I highly recommend it. Really, uh, really love the details on them. Uh, the mask looks really good. Uh, the whole new, new body structure here is really nice with this figure. Uh, definitely nice, nice solid joints going on there with this. Uh, obviously a nice reuse of the, the gun ho legs, except for the boots are different. Um, but nonetheless, it's an awesome figure to add to your classified collection. So yeah, so there is my quick review of the new GI Joe classified series Mole Rat. I do believe he is a he he's a Walmart exclusive. Um, so I don't know why they have to do Walmart exclusive all of a sudden. So I, I just don't know why they have to do Walmart exclusive. Period. But uh, and we'll put that piece of dark energy on right there with him as well so there is the mole rat ladies and gentlemen really cool figure i highly recommend you guys and gals picking them up so yeah so there is my review on the new gi joe classified series mole rat definitely cool figure to add to your collection for sure if you want to add some zombies definitely we're going to probably have some zombie vipers coming in the near future probably i'm sure i'm sure but uh yeah so until next time, I'm your host, Transaron38, talking again. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment on any videos. Just do keep a look out for any new videos. Head to your late. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll follow you back. And don't forget to check out everybody else's links out down in the description down below as well. So until next time, I'm your host, Transaron38, talking again. I'm out of here. Later. And it's time to dig underground. Dig, dig, dig. Yeah.